Welcome back to Weekly Dose of Filmmaking. This is the most advanced drone light show ever recorded. While most events typically only stay in the hundreds, this one broke the world record with 5,164 drones in the sky all at once. I really hope this doesn't replace fireworks in the future because I don't want to see Coca-Cola ads following me 24-7. This is just too funny. This lady's here. And then there she is. <laughs> Have you ever noticed the same face multiple times in the backgrounds of films and TV shows? He's here, and then he's here as well. <laughs> this is actually a technique used in filmmaking to fill up the crowd when you don't have enough extras. It's essentially cloning under a different name. If this is how parking will work in the metaverse, sign me up. This team of filmmakers developed a camera lens that can shoot at an aperture of f0.3 and here is what that looks like. Literally the tiniest movement could blur and potentially ruin the image, so it's impressive seeing how well they managed to stay in focus. Speaking of which, here's a look at what a focus puller actually does on set. Action. It honestly seems like a pretty fun job, but I've never done it myself, so let me know in the comments if you disagree. You're not a real filmmaker if you haven't tried the leaf blower in a stationary helicopter shot. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the result for this one, but I'm sure it looked fantastic. This is what the bullet time effect from the Matrix looks like, just with a couple hundred more cameras. Can you guess how much this setup costs all together? This guy forgot to read the library sign that says silence must be observed at all times and decided to launch his FPV drone for a few quick laps. Here's a trick to get some professional looking time-lapse footage from inside an airplane. Just a quick reminder, never leave your phone unattended for too long so it doesn't overheat from the sun and cause any harm. If you've ever wondered how to do complex scene changes while filming in one take, here you go. Aside from green screens, I'm starting to think that LED walls are genuinely the most powerful tool a filmmaker can use. This cameraman got some pretty cool POV shots by attaching his phone to a helmet. I really appreciate you watching till the end of this video and hopefully I will see you in the next one.